Hello, my name is Teacher Bell and welcome to another tips, review, and tutorial. If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe and hit that bell all button so that you'll be notified with all upcoming videos. And if you do find this video helpful, please do hit that like button and share it to your friends and co-teachers. So for today, we are going to look at an add-on that can enable auto-proctoring in our Google Form quiz because you know sometimes we teachers do not really have the time during the day's instruction to give formal assessments so sometimes what we do is we just give it as a homework but then we want to test security and accountability from students so this is a good add-on that you can use when you give or want to have a formal assessment whether in class or at home okay so for today's agenda we have five things to do we're going to install the auto proctor add-on this is the app that enables us to put the proctoring and timer feature in our google form quiz we are of course going to make a google form quiz and we are going to use the auto proctor now if you want to skip the first two steps you can go straight to three minutes so that you can check out the auto proctor okay and we're gonna do a live preview of the test and we're gonna look at the results from a student's end and from a teacher's end so that we can look at the trust score plus some of the violations that's included in this app okay so why are we using auto proctor again first reason is it promotes test security because it has access to camera the mic and the screen of the student taking the test it also detects the tab switching and auto proctor gets notified or the student also gets notified every time these violations have been detected again it can be used for homework use to so for easy monitoring um, you can also use it for online tests especially when you're giving it to a large number of students where you cannot possibly check each and every one of the students however the cons of this add-on is that it allows only 25 students okay so this is this may be a one-time use but then you can you know use different accounts for this one now again it has it enables timer and a proctor and of course given that we are busy teachers these are all helpful to us okay now i have a video on setting a timer itself this is my favorite add-on you can check this out if you just want the timer and not a proctoring um i really love this add-on because it enables breaks within the time limit which you cannot find in other timer in google form quiz okay and again it's free for the first 20 tests i'm gonna put the video link in the description okay so for today we are going to start with installing the auto proctor now you have two ways you can install it via the description or the link that i'm gonna put below so once you click the link you'll be directed to the google workspace marketplace you just type auto proctor click search and it will appear on your screen you'll know if that is it because of this logo now i have already installed it so on your part if you have not installed it it should say install okay now another way to install it is uh, go to your waffle grid look for a google form you can install it straight on your google form quiz so you go to the three dot button and click get add-ons and you will be directed again to the marketplace where you can search the auto proctor install it okay okay now if you want to turn it into a self-grading quiz which is appropriate because we are doing auto proctoring so click settings and then just click this one make this a quiz okay now go back to your quiz click answer key at the bottom and choose which one is the correct answer done Do okay so everything is set we are now ready to use our auto proctor add-on so go to this puzzle piece this is where you can 
find the add-on that we have installed earlier so click this one timer plus proctor and you will be able to configure your settings in this okay when you are on the main tab you should be able to enable the timer enable proctoring and resume unsubmitted tests so let's say your student have not finished their test and they are closed it they can still resume once they open it maximum number of attempts we'll put one on that one okay and then you can set up the timer here for the start date the start time the end time and how many minutes for this one let's do 30 minutes okay and then go to the proctor tab here you will find all the violations that you want auto proctor to detect so we have your tab switching camera microphone photos at random you can hover your mouse through the information details for each of the description now for the camera it can detect how many people are looking at the screen so there should only be one microphone it detects background noise and it can take photos at random okay so for the result you can either choose to send the result after the test and there's also a feature that the user can be notified every time the auto proctor detects a violation so update setting okay now the most important part here is the link you will have to give two links to your students one is the test link okay so let's copy this one copy link and we're gonna do it live on a student's perspective so let's say you have given them the test link or the auto proctor link and another one would be you will also have to give the link of the google form itself so click send link and copy link okay and give this link to your students as well okay so let's say your students have two links they will have to open the form and they will have to open the auto proctor link okay so they will have to take the test on the auto proctor tab so there's also a tutorial video on how they can do it so no worries about that one now it is very important that they click entire screen and not just the chrome tab okay again let me repeat that one once they share their screen they will have to choose entire screen that way auto proctor can detect if they are switching tab now let's click entire screen and share okay this way the auto proctor should be able to detect switching tabs so let me try to switch tab if i will get a notification okay there you go so it says change application earlier okay and since i am speaking it says noise detected okay so let's try to answer this one randomly and submit our test so we can check our results so click submit on the quiz and click submit so that your teacher can receive your result so once you have submitted the test you can check your trust score real time after the test so mine is 75 percent so what were some of the violations i made noise detected tab switching okay there you go so this is also what the teacher will see on their end so how does the teacher sees the result so once you are on your google form just go to responses for the scores and for the trust score you go to again the puzzle piece click timer and instead of choosing settings choose result and you should be able to see your students result all results there you go okay there so i had taken the 
quiz earlier, I got 88% and the one we took earlier is 75%. Okay? If, if you find this video helpful, please do like this video. And if you do have other information that you can share with us so that we can learn from each other, please do comment them down below. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Happy teaching. Bye!